Hey y'all, this is A. Renee from Journal Jive and Jive. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, welcome to the channel. <clears throat> Feel like that's gonna always be a part of my intro. It is 9-24, November 22nd, 2023. And I'm gonna get back into setting up my planner for 2024 as it will start next week when I can move into this planner. So I'm gonna do some pages. Now I'll do some pages, probably come back and tell you what the page is. But what I am gonna start with first, I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the blank pages. Oh, and by the way, I am in the Wonderland 222 planner. So the blank pages start on page 201. I'm just gonna create a page that separates the last page of the weeklies. And so I'm gonna use a little bit of the items that I have around the house. I'm gonna pull some stickers in, cause florals, why not? And then I'll work on some other pages and come in between that. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, y'all, so this is the separation page between the last December review in 2024 and then the notes pages. So I just basically pulled out some stuff I have around the house. This is a notepad. I tore a piece of paper off, used a little bit of crafter's tape, taped it down. Then I started trying some things with stickers and it didn't work out, so I had to commit to adding some additional stuff in there. And so this is the page, I'll zoom in. I had a sticker out of a book, I promise you. Well, you can see, I think it was 2016, 2017, may have been 2015, a combo book of stickers that I haven't used in forever. Put 2024 down the space and got off, but I had to commit because I was like, mm, it is what it is. It said, it's your year. And then it will, that will be it. That's going to be it for that. And then I'll turn and then it'll just be the pages. So remember we already set up a couple of pages back here. Picture this where a picture per month will go down. I might put a small little caption. Or I think I'm going to write something right there about what's going on. Not what's going on then, but before I start. Yeah, that didn't come out right. All right, so, and then these are blank pages. I do think I'm going to do a couple of, collection pages right here. I'm going to pull some of my old planners that I liked where I had some pages in the back of that. Also, I did this page yesterday, Document Your Life. 
So I did decide some additional things I'm gonna put on here. This side will be the letter to myself. This side will be 24 things I would like to get done in 2024. I look back at my 2023 list and I did not get a lot done off of that list, but it's fine. It is fine. Let's see if I have it right here. Do, let's see, where did I put it? Okay, so this was the B6 size in this same planner brand. So 23 things in 2023, and when I tell you I didn't really get a lot of anything done. Mm. Yep. That was, that was the main thing. Yeah, that was it. That was all. That was definitely it. That was all. Okay, so, yeah. Things didn't go like I thought they would. Anyway, I am going to utilize this side for 24 things in 2024. So I'll write those things down. I am going to go ahead and set that up because I think I want to use a highlighter per line so I can see each line. All right, so let's go ahead and set that part up.
All right, y'all, so I've done a couple of pages. I am gonna still keep going for the day. I'm not sure if I'm gonna video all of that and or come back to you. So remember, one of the things that I did was create a separation page or a divider, if you will, between the weekly pages and the blank pages in the back. What I've decided to do is try to utilize these pages as much as possible. I still will leave some blank for like notes and things, but there are a couple of things that I would like to <laughs> work on in 2024. One being figuring this weight thing out, y'all. Like, again, if some of you all know me, know me, you know I've been there, I know what to do, but it's just that mental aspect and making it stick. But anyway, I decided to create a section specifically for wellness. And so this says my 2024 wellness corner. And behind that, I have a blank page, which I'll write a couple of notes. And then I'm in this thing with these photos. Yeah, I got so many packs of photo paper and I'm like, you need to use this stuff. So what I'm gonna do each month is take a progress photo. I'm probably gonna take that photo in like black and gray, something where I can see the actual progress. Nonetheless, I decided to go ahead and set that up. I put January, I put a box for each. So we'll just flip through really quick. Nothing super fancy just yet. I am gonna go in and add some additional stuff. So I'll track like my cycle. There'll um, be a journal entry right here, kind of like how I feel about that particular picture. And I think I may even track my workout sessions on this page. That's what I'm thinking. So prior in my mind, I was like, I'm gonna use, where is that section y'all? I thought I was gonna use this section right here for my wellness tracker, but not so much. I went back and I looked in this planner, which again is the B6 size, it's the same thing. And it was like a snapshot view. And basically it would show if there was like no school, but I think I'm gonna do like days that I'm off of work, payday and stuff like that. I think I'm almost certain that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something very similar to this. So days that I'm off of work, uh, the days that my son is out of school for this year and even when he gets in college like it'll be cool to keep up with when his winter break is and all of that so that's what I'm gonna do paydays vacation birthdays and stuff like that yeah so that's what's gonna go on here so I thought about setting that up on here not quite sure it depends on how much time this video takes I don't really want to go over 15 minutes I want to keep y'all attention so there's that and then lastly remember I put the 24 things to do in 2024 which one of those things is to lose up to 42 pounds and that all depends on what I look like as I'm losing weight so I don't want to lock myself in at that but I would at minimum like to see what that looks like heading towards that direction to lose 24 pounds in a healthy manner no harm no hurt no sickness none of that but losing it in the correct manner okay so that's what we have for today we added an extra part to this page we created us a divider so it's kind of easy to find the page i know some people do tabs i haven't i, I don't know how i feel about that then we created the wellness corner. Behind that wellness corner will be some notes. I'm probably gonna write a journal entry. Y'all know I'm good for a good journal entry. So that's gonna be a journal entry page. And then each month we will go in and document how it feels to be on this journey. And a photo of each day, which will be totally different than the photo picture this for the month. This will be when I have something regular on. And I take the photo, and then this will be a fitness-based photo. All right, so I did decide to kind of pull in some stickers here and there. Like I said, y'all, a lot will be pinned to paper, but if I have stickers that I feel like fit the occasion, it will go in there. So I hope I'm still helping you out as you're setting up your planners, because I know many of you all, your planners will start coming in. They start in December. I just would encourage you, if it's some things that you want to track in your plan, to put it in there. Don't wait until December 1st to get started and then you're overwhelmed and you may or may not use the planner. So there's that. 
All right, so let me know, are you adding anything health and wellness related in your planner? And the reason I decided to name this wellness is because when you start saying my fitness or my exercise section, sometimes it can cause you to shut down. And for me, wellness is more than working out. All right, so therapy sessions, I need to resume. That's going to be on my 20 four things to do in 2024 so that stuff will be tracked behind here as well all right so again hope you enjoyed it and i'll catch you on the next one